Okay, everyone, so I just ate a little bit of dinner right now. This is my, my dinner night out for the week. So I chose Panda Express. <laughs> I've been, first today I went to um, Ralph's, the one in Arcadia. I was gonna go to the one in, that I went to yesterday, the um, Pasadena. But, um, I don't know. I just decided to stay closer um, because, you know, it's, they have the things I was looking for, they both have. The only reason I kind of wanted to go to that one in um, Pasadena is it, it seems like they have it. It's a little more full service than this one. This one does have like a butcher. I'm not sure they have a deli. It's like a smaller version of the Pasadena one. It's kind of like Walmart Supercenter, which is Walmart regular. So they have a little bit of the same stuff, but so I had to get because I'm gonna be making some. Pe I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Bear with me, pico de gallo. <laughs> I don't know how to do that, <laughs> but um. Pico de Gallo, and then I'm going to try, I found some recipes on Pinterest, I want to try to make my own tortillas, and they seem, it seems easy enough, I mean, they only have a few ingredients, so I had to get flour, this was why it was, I had to decide which store to go, you guys, because Aldi does have, um, maybe across the board, cheaper than Ralph's on them, but, Aldi's produce is a little weird. Like, it's like, I couldn't mentally remember, like, them having, they do have, okay, the thing with Aldi is they do have things single in the produce section, but they do also have a lot of, like, the bag stuff. So you have to buy, like, a whole bag of, like, onions, a whole bag of potatoes, which I get during the holidays and stuff, but, or, like, Potatoes, I can kind of understand a little bit more, but it all time, all year long. But sometimes you don't want that many onions, especially if you're not going to be using all of them. And then, since it's off season, since the holidays are kind of gone, um, they went, they go up on the price before it too. Because I got some sweet potatoes last week, a bag of them, and I remember during the holidays, those were like a dollar. 67 for a bag and like they had went up to like three something so yeah if when they're not getting a lot of sales on those items they go up so like even if it's produce and stuff so i was like overall you know what i'll just go to ralph's or vines but then i was like you know i'll just go to ralph's and then um i went to ralph's but this one yeah i don't really care for this one near me because it doesn't have the full-on thing so I got flour. Um, I got. I'm gonna make. They have a substitute way to make baking powder. Cause it's not something I use a lot, so I don't have it. So, and I didn't want to spend like four bucks at Rouse on it, cause Rouse only had the name brand one left. They were out of this the Kroger, which was like two dollars cheaper. So. I was like, damn, I should just went to for this. But yeah, so um, I have a, I found a way that you just you can make baking powder, but um, or a substitute for it. Then what else did I get? I got the tomatoes. I got the onion, white onions, cilantro. I got some loin chops. Some more tomato sauce, some jasmine rice. I didn't really get a lot. So, I don't know how it was $34. But, but so, <laughs> yeah, you guys. But anyway, I was like, should I go to Panda or should I not? But it really has become a treat for me because I don't do it all the time anymore so or I don't do it as often as I was doing 
so it feels better too because it's size not high. It has to be something I really want. You know? To like because and you know what guys how I know it's like it's a change for me is because one of my favorite things is um like breakfast food. Breakfast Hello. And I always am like, I can have McDonald's breakfast in the morning if I, if I, you know, if I went after what I wanted to do. But then I was like, no, you know, I can eat this. You know, I can do this. I can just, you know, your stomach filled up with this. You know, now if I really, really was like, that's it. I'm just gonna go get it. <laughs> then I would have just done it. Got it. <laughs> but um, I didn't. So I'm, I'm proud of myself because it's helping me not spend on it too. But I just wanted to finish up with um, you guys. Okay, so I don't know if you guys watch makeup makeup artist Gordita or Gorda on TikTok. She's listening on TikTok, YouTube. She's on like a lot of things. Uh, Facebook. Well, her boyfriend came out because um, you know how she's she has her condition, so. She's always getting a lot of like comments, really mean comments and everything. And people are always getting on him too because they're like, well, he must be desperate or he must be, um, she need a place to stay or something. Like they're always talking. And, um, so I guess he finally had enough because she, he said she's the type that she's like, she's not gonna say like what it affect her to him you know she's not gonna like cry over it um but she's gonna let him handle it or whatever um if he wants to but she's not gonna give energy to it or you know whatever um even though he don't you know it does affect her and it hurts her feelings and all that and so he came out on his uh instagram and his tiktok and he had a video and it really hit home because i was just like People were saying because he's been working out and stuff. And you know how they just had a baby, like, I might say three months ago? Well, he's been working out. And so people are like, when he leaves, he gonna, be, he, gonna, he gonna dump her, blah, blah. So he finally came out because he was like, And it was, we were all just like, this was so emotional. Because I was just thinking, people are always saying stuff, but it's like, he's right. Like, what is it to them? Like, if you're not, everybody's attracted to people for as long as you know and you know I'm since I'm saying he's right too because you know big women get it too you know if a guy likes a big girl oh he's he's gonna get it like unless he's just that type of he doesn't care and he's like you know and so he was like um just leave him alone and, and the part that got to me that I thought was so sweet but he was like, um, people were like, well, she has a disability. And he was like, um, he was like, what did he say? It was so sweet, you guys. He was like, um, and he's all, uh, something about, uh, you guys don't know what it's like when she gets excited and when she does this music. Like the things, he basically said the things he likes about her, you know, he didn't have to explain it to them, you know. And that's what I don't get is that if it's somebody who's like in society's eyes attractive, they don't get no shade or anything. But if it's someone that they're like, well, why is he with her? Or why is she with him? Or whatever. Then people are, they never have something to say. And he just had enough. So it just really hit home to me because like years ago, me and my friend were talking about me and my. When my friends were saying how, yeah, and you know, like, um, people sometimes don't go after who they like because of that. So, like, I don't want to deal with people talking, man, so blah, blah. And that guy and her, they've been, they've been through a lot because they have to deal with it all the time because she has, like, a big social media presence, you know. And I just liked it because, you know, I like when men do that, when they're just like, they're gonna stick a few to you and all that. And I just liked it because it's like, 
he's just, I mean, he's already saying he doesn't care by being with her and staying with her regardless of what people think. But the fact that he came out and was like, even though she was like, leave alone, I'm not even paying attention to her anymore. He still was like, because he, when he hurt, when she hurts, he hurts. You know, that's how it should be, you know. He was like, basically like, I'm going to protect you because even if you don't want to deal with it yourself, I'll, you know, I'll handle it, you know. And it was just sweet, but I'm just like, I was just like, people don't need to know or understand what draws people to each other, you know. He's attracted to her. Let him worry about it. You guys are, the fact that these men, these people commenting and insulting on her comment thread all the time. The fact that they're like, even if someone else calls her beautiful, they're like, they put that little hat, like saying cape or whatever, cap, cap like meaning like you're lying. Grow up, people. Okay, you know, you don't, if you don't like somebody, you don't like them, don't look. Look the other way. It's just like when Spirit said, you don't like it, look away. <laughs> she was talking about her, her food, like she was cooking. People were like, that looks nasty, but she's like, don't, then look away. Like, and ever since she said that, it was just, it resonates with a lot of things because it's just like, it's true. If you don't like food, but if you don't like big girls, if you don't like, you're someone you don't think is attractive. Look to the side or look down or something, but keep it to yourself. You know, bite your tongue, grow up. Because there's probably someone out there looking at you like, oh, what's she doing, man? You know, and that's why you to take your hurt and anger out on another person to make yourself feel better. You know, people like what they like at the end of the day, and if you're not, in, if you're not sleeping with her, and you're not. Having a relationship with her, mind your business. He likes her for how he, why he likes her. Just because a whole bunch of men like your girlfriend doesn't mean anything. Because at the end of the day, she has her eyes on who she has her eyes on, and vice versa. You know, I just don't get. It. I don't get why people care so much about to put that much energy into like hurting someone's feelings, that sharing their life. And I it, I understand the whole. Thing. Put yourself out there. You got to be ready for what may come, good and bad. But it's just the fact that he felt the need to finally just say that after he's probably he's addressed it before, but he just was like, "No, nah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna knock this down right now." I'm I'm sure it's not gonna stop it because people are still keeping in the comments even after. But the fact that he has to explain why he's feels how he feels about someone. Just because those, she's not their idea of attracting is like what um, was sad to me because he felt I have to see it, you know? Because that means it's really affecting her. So I'm just, you know, this is my TED talk, but I'm just saying just chill out, people, because, you know, I know, I don't know. Just the fact that he had to say it is what keeps resonating with me. The fact that. He felt the need to address the issue, you know. I mean, she's probably gonna touch it, and they have a kid now, though. Everyone's like, "Oh my God, the kid came out normal and stuff like that." People just saying real stupid stuff, and it's just like, I heard she even was crying before on the video, one of her videos before, just because people are saying she still puts herself out there, goes out there, keeps smiling, so to speak, you know, despite all that. That's what you have to respect about her. She does have strength because, you know. But anyway, so I'm just saying. Just, it doesn't take much to be kind to people. And, you know. Like, in the words of the spirit. Look away. If you don't like somebody, look away. That's what you do in public when you see somebody coming your way. And you're like, she's big, but. Look down, look to the side or whatever. I don't care what you do. Mature people don't even have to react. They just look, keep focused on what they do. But it's these other people who are grown up, who are mature, who have to cause problems for everybody. Anyway, you guys, I will touch you guys later. I'm going to do my recipe. I don't know about the tortillas of bears. I feel like I'm going to mess up. But um, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I will touch you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.